hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to show you guys how to jailbreak ios 12.0 to 12.4.8 and that's with rootless jb4 uh, this is a new method However, it's still in its early stages of development, so your success rate with this is 5%. It's as low as 5%. However, I did try it um, initially and it worked um, after about 10 tries. So you do have luck with this and um, if you do not want to use uh, your alternatives like Uncover and Checkwin, then you can try out with the JB. There is also another catch you do not get your package installer your package manager pre-installed so you would have to handle that one on your own so it uh, installs some use, useful um, um, tweaks for you uh, you also have files here you also have um, reprovision and um, some other tweaks um, but of course with files here it would help you install your package manager so um, just that you do not get it pre-installed you'll have to work on it on your own um, I will do a video on getting that installed, but I will do it after this video. So this video will basically be a two-part video. Um, so head over to your browser. I'm using Firefox, as you can see. And you head over to the releases page for rootless jb4. And as you can see, it supports iOS 12.0 to 12.4.8. Um, you are now going to select rootless jb4.ipa. And um, you're going to save that. Um, it's going to just save on Firefox, since it's Firefox that I'm using. Um, I had some issues with Safari um, for some reason when I saved the file it, it, uh, it detected as a zip file so I use Firefox instead. Uh, so if you're experiencing that issue then I just recommend that you use um, Firefox um, or, or another browser which doesn't have such issue. And now um, what you're going to use now to install this IPA is AppKit. Um, of course you know there's the issue with um, there's the issue with um, apps getting um, third-party app stores getting revoked by Apple. So um, let's just hope, of course, this time it's signed. Maybe at some point when you guys try it out, it's not signed. But of course, I remember making a video about Alt Store, so you can use Alt Store as well if AppKick doesn't work for you. Um, it's just an on-device um, app store which also allows you to sideload on your device. So. If AppKit doesn't work, you can use Outstore. The video will be linked in the description. So you're going to select Install AppKit, and you're going to open the external link. Uh, it should uh, take you to uh, option right here. So you're going to select Install. Okay. Um, after which, I believe it should be available in Settings anytime from now. Um, as you can see right now, it says Loading. Um, and afterwards, we have to trust the certificate in Settings. Okay, so it's installed, so let's select AppKick right here. Right now it's untrusted, so if you go to the browser and you select trust right here, it should take you to settings. Um, I don't think that's what's happening, so if not, um, you need to go to settings manually and do it. So head over to settings and um, you're going to go over to general and you're going to go over to profiles and device management and there's the up right here so you're going to select trust to trust it and it should be done right now so what you're going to do is head back to AppKit, and um, it should open up there should be another step as you can see right now um, verify um, so you're going to select that and it should take us to the web browser once again and you're going to select allow profile downloaded so we're going to again head over to settings uh, general profiles and device management and we're going to trust right here so looks like that's already done um, app kick verification let's see this one of course we're going to install this i'm going to put in my pin and um, we're going to install this and um, it would open up the app again let's see what happens and as you can see we are done so here's how to sideload the file um, head back to your browser um, which is Firefox in my case um, you're going to head over to library and you, you're going to see all your downloaded files right here 
and you're going to select ruthless jb4 ip as you can see right here so we're going to select that and um, we're going to select copy to app kit if you don't see it then you're going to select more right here and you can select app kit um, so let's select app kit it's going to open up and it's going to copy the file so you're going to select yes uh, to take you to the downloads tab and you're going to select rootless jb4 right here and you're going to install so it's going to extract the file and um, do the necessary installation all the requisites so that it can work and as you can see it's resigning and soon it would ask you to install so let's wait for this uh, it's almost done on the final steps all right uh, should be done you should receive a prompt right now so you're going to select install and uh, should be on the home screen anytime from now as you can see it's installing so as you can see rootless is installed let's open it up to see if it works as you can see it does before we start with the jailbreak process let me show you guys some of the issues that you may experience from the app as you can see right here the known issues um so just right here as you can see all right so let's open up rootless and we're going to tap jailbreak like i said it's a five percent success rate so you may have to try several times the device might reboot um, on every try um, also one more thing um, go over to settings and you would want to go over to display and brightness and turn auto lock off so this would help um, so that when you jailbreak in your screen will remain on so that we don't uh, maybe corrupt the process or something um, but that's things that worked for me things that helped me out so let's tap on jailbreak and as you can see it's on one of 27 okay the device rebooted so what's going to happen now is we have to try again so let's give it another shot so quickly open rootless and hit jailbreak immediately might reboot again Okay, um, when it gets to 25, um, it might take some time, so just give it a, just have a little patience, um, and then it should be spread. So let's just wait for this to complete. So right now it's respringing. Who knows there might be a respring loop and if there is you just press and hold your power button to perform a fast reboot um, but i believe that okay it's it's done all right so we should have jailbreak and as you can see a few tricks have been installed we have files there we have i super su and we have reprovision let me open them upside you can see um, as you can see reprovision is running you also have files here um, so that's it be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share the video with others and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.